the God amongst every Santaria, the God amongst every Obia. We serve a God greater than that. We serve a God greater than the God that is in this world. We Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. If you believe that God is the I am in your life type, I am connected to the I am. I am connected to the I am. I am great because God is great. I am, I am, I am. Let's marinate. Let's think about that. Let's let it soak in us. I am all that I have been called to be. I am all that I am because of Christ. Amen. I am all that I am because of his grace. I am all that I am because of his mercy. I am all that I am because of his favor. I am unlimited because my father is unlimited. Amen. I am unlimited because my father is unlimited. Amen. If you believe this, type it. Say, I'm unlimited because my father is unlimited. Let me tell you something. When you write down some things, it does something different. It changes your life. When you write down your dreams, when you write down your visions, when you write down what you want, amen, when you write down what you need, amen, and you pray about it, amen, and you read it, and you remind yourself something, amen, you remind yourself these things, Lord, because you're unlimited, I am unlimited. You type that thing down. You write it down. You remind yourself every day. You, you do it daily. Let me tell you something. Something great happens. Something great happens. Amen. The, the Bible says that Daniel wrote down his visions. Amen. People who write down their visions. Amen. Something great happened. It is something good about journaling. It is something good about saying, Lord, I desire this. I desire that. And if it's in his will, it, you shall access it. But you know what? Write it down. Something powerful comes by writing it down. It's like you're solidifying it. It's like you're signing it and you're saying, you know what? You know what? I seal it. I seal it by faith. I seal it with the blood of Jesus. Write down your dreams. Write down your hopes. Write down your visions, amen, and read it. Call it out. Prophesy over it. Prophesy to yourself and say, I am because my father says I am. I am because I believe by faith that I am. You can be all that God has called you to be if you just access it. If you just access it. If you just access what God has already blessed you with. If you just access it, you can be this. Amen. Just reach out and grab it. Speak in your heavenly language and say, I can be that all that God has called for me to be. I can reach everything that God has called for me to reach. Amen. I break off the spirit of poverty. I break off the spirit of lack. I break off the spirit of hindrance. I break it off. I break off every generation a curse. I break it off right now in the name of Jesus. I sever all cords and all ties to my generation that is ungodly. I break off every negative and ungodly soul tie in my life. I walk in the favor. I walk in the purpose of God. I sever all demonic ties. I sever every demonic altar. I cast it down. I call down a fire from heaven to consume it in the name of Jesus. Every incantation made on my name, I cut it asunder with the word of God, with the sword of the spirit. Every, every lip that is backbiting against me, amen, every spiritual lip, amen, that is coming up against me, amen, every word of incantation, amen, every spiritual thing that is not of God that is rising up against my life, my marriage, my children, my family, because I am connected to the greatness, the greater, amen, I am connected to the favor of God because I am connected to him, I break it off by prophesying it, I break it off by speaking it, I break it off and I sever all ties in the name of Jesus and now I'm walking in my calling, now I'm walking in my destiny. Now, now, now I know who I am because the, the I am that I am is connected to the I am. The I am that is unlimited. The God that is unlimited. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God is unlimited. My God is grace. My God is mercy. My God is favor. My God is the God above every God in this world. And I am connected to it by faith in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am connected to greatness because I am great. Amen. Because who my father is. He is great. He is great. He is greater than every American idol. He is greater than every God of this world. He is greatness and I am connected to it. Amen. I am connected to it.
Good morning, Prophetess Pamela. Good morning, Marie. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you believe, amen, by faith that you are connected truly to God by faith, amen, spiritually, amen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the, but the, but the evidence of what's not seen. So if you don't see it, but you hope for it, amen, your hope is in God, amen. Your hope is in the God of favor. Your hope is in the God of greatness. Your hope is in the I am. You do not see it, but yet you believe it. So it will manifest in the physical realm because of of who you are and who you are connected to say i am unlimited i am great i am connected to greatness i have a greater purpose because what have god has called me to be i am great in the lord amen i have the holy spirit indwelling in me and this holy spirit cannot do indwell in any unclean temple so if my temple is clean and i'm living righteously amen all that is in me is great and it's greater, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. It's greater than everything out there. Everything out there, it is greater than. Amen. And once we realize who we are connected to, once we truly realize that, then we can walk in the favor and the purpose of God. Amen. Give God your first fruits. Amen. Wake up, rise and shine. Amen. Give God your purpose. God bless you. God bless you, Prophetess Pamela. We love you too. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Give God your first fruits. When you rise and shine in the morning, go in your heavenly language and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray in our heavenly language. Amen. Begin to pray. Amen. Begin to exalt the King of Kings. Begin to exalt the Prince of Peace. Begin to exalt him. Amen. Begin to exalt him. Amen. Pray in your tongues. Amen. Pray in your heavenly tongues. Amen. In that intimacy with God. Amen. Walk in the intimacy with God. And give him your first fruits and as you give him your first fruits God will honor it God will honor it God will honor it take a time take the time take the time to wake up and rise and shine in one the first thing you do is think about my God my God I thank you for yet another wonderful day in your Lord Lord God in you Lord I thank you for my family still laying here next to me in the bed Lord God my husband my children whatever it is I thank you Jesus I thank you that my house is still filled with each and every individual they still have the breath of life Lord I thank you Jesus I thank you Jesus I thank you for all that you are doing Lord God because I know that you love me Lord God. I know that I'm walking in your purpose, Lord God. I know that everything you've called me to be, I believe it by faith. I am connected to the greatest I am. Oh my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let it roar in your bellies. Let it roar in your bellies. Let it bubble over. Let it bubble over. Let it rise in your belly. Bubble over. Bubble over. Bubble over. I speak life into your belly. I speak fruitfulness into your belly. I speak fruitfulness into your belly right now in the name of Jesus. I speak unlimitedness in your belly in the name of Jesus. I speak it. I speak it. I speak it. I break off every hindrance and I break off every blockage that is in your belly. Come out. I command it to come out every hindrance, every blockage, every spirit of poverty, every spirit of lack. I command it to flee out of you right now in the name of Jesus. Every oppressive spirit must be cut in the name of Jesus with the sword of the spirit, with the sword of the Lord. Come on, let it bubble up. Let it bubble up. Let it flourish. Let it manifest. Go to God in your language. Go to God in your heavenly language. Go to God. Go to God. Access the greatness that he has given you. Come on, come on, come on. Access the greatness that he has given you. It is there. It is there in the spirit realm. It is there. You've got to access. You've got to call it. Now, Father, I call down all the greatness that you have given to me, Lord God. I grab it by faith in the spirit realm, Father God. I grab every single blessing. I put it down right now. And everything that the enemy has taken from me right now, everything that he has plundered, I command it to give it to me back right now. Seven times full. Because the Bible says that the thief be caught. We have the right to command it to give it back seven times for Satan I've caught you I've caught your demonic entity I've caught you everything you have plundered I plunder it back I take it back I take it back I plunder it back I take it back I take it back I plunder it back robo shit I walk in my destiny I walk into my calling. I access every spiritual gift, amen, that I was predestined with, amen. 
Amen. I access it by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Holy Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Access your gifts. Say, I take it back, Satan. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. You have taken from me too long, and guess what? I cut it. I sever the ties in the spirit room. I sever it. I sever it right now in the name of Jesus with the sword of the spirit. I decapitate it. I decapitate it. I shall no longer lack. I shall no, no longer walk in poverty. I shall no longer. I shall no longer. I shall no longer be what you have called me to be, but what my father in heaven has called me to be, which is unlimited, which is great, which is greatness because I'm connected to the God that is unlimited. I am connected to the God that is great. I am connected to greatness i am greatness i am a queen i am a princess i am connected to divine the royal courts of heaven royalty royalty i say royalty i am divine i am connected divinely to royalty i am royalty just like there are kings and queens and their children are princes and princesses and they have that in their bloodline they have it in their genealogy so they access the things that are already in the midst of them physically but let me tell you something we do not live in a physical world and then it's very much spiritual and then it manifests in the physical and when we can realize we can change our mindset and then realize that everything is spiritual access the spiritual things and then let it manifest amen in the physical world then we can access all that God has given us amen See, what happens is we're looking at all the physical things in the world. We're looking at everything physical with a spirit, with a physical eye. And we're saying, okay, I don't have this. I don't see this. I don't. Well, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of what's not seen. So if I don't see it, but I'm still going to believe by faith, then I can access it and I can pull it down. Amen. I am royalty. My father is the king of kings, the prince of peace, the lord of lords. Amen. So if, if my father is the king, like I said, just like a queen or a king, and I'm a princess. Amen. Because I am royal because it's in my bloodline. Well, my bloodline is connected to the father up in heaven my bloodline is connected to jesus christ the bible says in romans we are co-heirs with christ we are co-heirs with christ so if we are co-heirs with christ what are we connected to we are connected to divine royalty we should not be lacking in any area in our lives amen if we see lack let me tell you something this is the real pure unadulterated truth. If we see lack, it's because we are lacking something spiritually. If we see lack, it's because by faith, in that particular area, we may be doing healing, miracles, signs, wonders, prophesying, evangelizing, everything, but we're lacking in an area. Maybe it's poverty. Whatever we're lacking is because we don't have the ultimate faith in that area. So we can just put it down. Begin to call it out. Begin to put it down and say, you know what? I know that I should no longer lack. I know that I should no longer be without. I know that I can access because my father is I am. My father it is greatness. I cut it off. I sever it and I walk in the spirit of God, the powerful spirit of God. I walk in my authority. I walk in my greatness. I walk in my worth because who I am connected to is I am. Why am I I am? Two words. Why is God I am? Because he's everything in our surroundings. He has created everything. The angels, the humans, even the demons were created by God because they were once in heaven. So everything, the Bible said, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So if everything must bow down to him, that means the spirit of poverty has got to bow down to him. It has got to leave. When you say spirit of poverty, I command you to flee out of my life. Say it for 30 days to see the difference that it makes me. I command you to flee out of my life. I believe that I am greater. I believe that I, know I should no longer lack. I believe, I believe, I believe. Some of you guys have books in your belly. Some of you guys have books in your belly. Some of you guys have riches just sitting there in your belly, sitting there in your heart. I want to write my book. I want to do this. I want to do that. Oh God, I want this type of company. Oh God, I want this for my family. I want, I want, I want. Speak it. Speak life over it. Speak life over it. I shall have the company that God has called me to have. I shall have the ministry that God has called me to have. I shall have my books that God has called me to write. I will write it in the name of the Lord. I will write it in the name of the Lord. I believe who I am called to be. I believe by faith. Write it down. Make your vision plain. Speak a life to it every day. Speak a life to it every day. Put your little seeds of word on it. Speak a, say, say, seed, I planted you today. I wrote it down and I planted you today. And I believe by faith that you will water and you will grow. You will water and you will grow every day. Two, three times a day. Say, seed, I planted you and I want you to grow. You shall grow because who I am connected to. I speak a life to you. Grow in the name of Jesus. I speak life. Grow in the name of Jesus. This is how we can access the things of God. This is how we can access it. Amen. The same way when I was sick and I was simply praying. 
sick, near death, amen, heart problems, stroke issues, severe allergy and asthma. And I kept saying, I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. I am healed. I shall live. I will not die. When I kept speaking that over my life, it began to manifest. It's the same thing. My ministry shall live. It shall not die. My children shall live. They shall not die without doing the purpose of God, without walking into their calling. They shall live and not die. Amen. My marriage shall survive and not die. My marriage shall live and not die because who I am connected to, the father that I am connected to is greater than anything in this world. Again, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You guys type it, say it. Speak it. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. My God. Roko Shatarabosa. Roko Sete Rebesha. Robo Sandarabosia. Roko Sete Rebese. Andarabosa. Oh my God, my God, my God. Let it resonate in you. Let it reside in you. Let it take a birthing in your belly. Amen. Today, birth something different. Birth something different in your belly today and say, guess what? I am connected to the I am that Moses spoke to. I'm connected to that I am. Speak it out. Speak it out. Speak it out. If you got to visualize a burning bush and say, Lord, I am connected to it. I'm connected to it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it in the spirit realm just like Moses did. Visualize and say, God, I'm speaking to you right now, God. God, I need a breakthrough. God, I need to hear your voice. God, I need God. God, your word says that I am connected to you. Your word says that I am your heir. Your word says that I am because who you are, which is the I am, the same I am that was there in front of Moses. Listen. Listen, you can access it if you just believe that you are who God has called you to be. You can access it, amen? Everything that is spiritual is tangible. Everything that is spiritual will manifest in the physical realm. Everything that is spiritual, amen? Why do you think, why do you think everything negative sometimes it happens? When we speak negativity over our life, it happens. When we speak the fruits, the Bible says, don't that speak good out of their lips and then the righteous that speak good out of their lips shall eat of his fruits they shall love what they reap from his fruits why because that fruit is good that fruit is nutritional unto your body, amen? If you are pregnant, amen, and you're eating fruits, amen, you're not eating a nasty diet, you're not eating chips, you're not eating soda, but you're eating fruits, amen? The fruits that is in you will now give birth to that baby who will be healthy, amen? That baby will be healthy because what you're taking in is growing in your belly, amen? What you're taking in is nourishing what is in your belly. So if you take in the fruits of the Lord, you take in the word of God, you're taking everything that is in you that is coming from God every day. I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching some ministering on YouTube. I'm reading some, some books that is about the Holy Spirit. I'm reading some books about how can I grow in the Lord. Amen. I'm listening to messages about how can I grow in God. Let me tell you something. Everything that you eat will manifest. It will reside in you. It will grow. Every seed will take root in your belly. Every seed. And as you water it, amen, as you water it with the power of the Holy Ghost, as you water it with the word of God, amen, every, remember the Bible says, you shall no longer thirst, amen. I am the water that you need. You shall no longer thirst. How come you won't thirst? Because God puts rivers of flowing water in your belly. It is in your belly. The rivers of flowing water is in your belly. It constantly flows. Rivers, not a river. Rivers, it constantly flows in your belly. And who you are connected to is constantly flowing because he's unlimited. He is the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. He is unlimited. So everything that is in him is unlimited. And if you are connected to what is unlimited, you are unlimited. Speak it out. Prophesy over yourself. Prophesy over your ministry. Prophesy over your finances. Touch it. Lay your hands on it. The same way, like I said, we do healing and deliverance. Lay your hands on your finances. Amen. Take a hundred dollar bill and lay your hands on it. Say, in the name of Jesus, I spiritually speak to this money and I command it to grow. I command it to grow so I can do my kingdom work. I command it to grow so I can speak to my kingdom work. I, I can do my kingdom work. Amen. I speak to my finances. I speak to my bank account. I speak to my bank account. Write a check. Write a check and whatever you desire to put on it, amen? If you believe by faith, listen to me, by faith, faith come by hearing, by hearing. If you believe by faith, begin to speak over it. Begin to speak over it. Begin to speak it into your life. And I promise you, it will manifest. I've done this in my life. I have done this. You know what I used to do? I, every bill that I had when I wasn't even working, amen, when I wasn't even working, every bill that I had, I would put paid, paid, paid. I would write it on my bill, paid, or I would visualize that my bill is paid. You won't believe that it got paid because of how I thought, because of my mind frame. I did not have a mind frame of poverty. I did not have a mind frame, amen, a mentality of being poor. I, felt, I knew and I felt like that God was going to cover my bills, and he did. 
He did. Everywhere I went, somebody was like, oh, and you know what? The Lord is telling me to give you $50. The Lord is telling me to give you $100. The Lord is telling me your life is about to get cut off. I got to bless you with this $150. That's, who the, that's the God that we are connected to. That's the God that we are connected to. I tell you no lies. Amen. And we just say, God, I need this bill paid. Paid in full. Visualize it being paid in full. It will get paid, I promise you. I'm talking about with the faith of God, the pure unadulterated faith, knowing who you are in Christ. Because if you don't know who you are, then you don't know who you are connected to. And if you don't know who you are connected to, then you are lacking. You have a poverty mind frame in some kind of area, some way, shape, or form. Then we got to walk over them hurdles. We got to, like I said, sever all ties with the enemy. Sever all ties with the spirit of poverty. Sever all ties and say, I am greater than what I see. I am wealthier than what I see. I am wealthier than what I even possess because I know what I possess in me spiritually, amen, will manifest and grow as I give as I, as I give nutrition to it, amen, as I speak to every seed that is in me, amen, it shall manifest, it shall grow, it shall be greater because I am connected to the greater, amen, the greatest God out there, the I am of the I am, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, I am great. I speak greatness right now to each and every individual that is watching on today. I speak greatness into your life right now in the name of Jesus. I speak greatness unto you with the power of the Holy Ghost. I speak it unto you right now. I speak to your finances right now in the name of Jesus. If you believe by faith, receive it in the name of Jesus. I speak to your finances and I command it to grow. I command it to grow. I command it to be watered. I command it to flourish right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your finances right now in the name of Jesus. I speak life into your belly. I speak I speak life into your belly. I speak life into your ministries. I speak life to everything that you are connected to. Amen. If you could just receive it by faith. If you can just receive it by faith. Amen. The God that we serve is a God that is unlimited. It's a God that is unlimited. It is a God that is great. Amen. And I speak to it right now in the name of Jesus. I speak life to each and everybody that is watching on today. I speak life to your health. I speak life to your finances. I speak life to your ministry. I speak life and I command it to give birth. I command everything that is in you to give birth. Amen. Even the negative things must give birth. Then they come out. The negative things must come out in the name of Jesus and you shall be filled you shall be impregnated amen with the things of God you shall be impregnated amen with the power of the Holy Ghost 